this video is going to cover how to annotate your ideas and by annotations all I mean are little notes that you scatter around your sketches to communicate all of your design decisions and to explain what's going on in your designs and to do this we use the design factors. The four we're going to focus on today are function, aesthetics, ergonomics and materials. Now you'll notice I've used the, the task from last week, it's the toddler baby plate. I asked all of you to pick a, or one, two or three possibly idea generation techniques, so I chose morphological analysis. I've got two columns here, both materials, so I can have some combinations of materials. I've just decided it's going to be an animal because we had to make it fun for kids and kids and babies love animals. I've looked at different fixings because one of the parts of the brief said it needs to be fixed to the table in some sort of way. So I've explored a couple of those and you'll see that I've got, I've generated some random combinations. So here are my sketches. You can clearly see what they look like, but you don't know anything about these sketches. You don't know um, how they work. What's this strip here? You know, why is this part here? What's this tab for? So we need to explain these things in our annotations. So we'll start off with the duck. The first thing I'm going to discuss here is the aesthetics. So it's a fun duck shape to encourage babies to eat. Simple. That shows me that you have an understanding of the brief. You know that you had to make it a fun shape for the kids to encourage them to eat. And you've, you've said that and backed it up with your sketch here. This part here is a little clamp that screws so that it can fix onto a table. So clamp, screws, onto table for grip. And that would be function. That's how it enables it to work. It means the child wouldn't be able to pull off the table. Now you'll notice I've got a 2D view here. I've got a front view looking in this way and I've got a, a 3D view here. That's really useful to use more than one type of sketch to communicate your idea. I wouldn't have been able to sketch this in my 3D view here. So that's why I've done another view just next to it. So here we've got lots of space for food. And we've got two different compartments for food. Again, that was in the brief. So I get more function. So let's talk about ergonomics now. Ergonomics all to do with, remember, how you interact with a product, be it human sizes, um, be it the strength or strain it puts on you, or understanding the product. So it could be that we've got a wee thread here. So we've got the clamp is easy to turn. Yeah, so it doesn't put any strain on the user. We could say as well that this little bit here is a piece of rubber, so that's nice and soft in the hand, so that's comfortable to use. But not just kind of positive things, you can always, always pick up as well on things that maybe aren't that great. For instance, these little sharp corners, that's gonna be difficult to clean. I'm going to write that in there. Oop, too clean. You'll always notice if, you've, if you're in a hospital, hopefully not recently, but they never have any sharp corners in their rooms where the floor joins to the ceiling so that it's easy to clean them. So that's a good point there. So we've mentioned ergonomics, aesthetics, function. Okay, materials. So for the duck, we had wood and plastic. 
So this part here um, is going to be plastic. The clamp part is plastic and this part is wood. Plastic's good because it means it's going to slide over a surface easily if you're sliding it into, the, into a table. So plastic used to make... Um, to, we could write actually to ensure minimal friction. We could talk about the wood, we could do quite a hard wood so that the grain's not too open. We could talk about how plastic can be brightly coloured so that it can um, contrast with the wood here. There's loads of stuff we could talk about and as you can see I've got tons of tons and tons of annotations. We'll move on to this one here. Again, I've got a big sketch, which is 2D this time, and I've done sketches around it to explain parts further. And I'm just going to annotate these just now as we go. we have it. Now my designs have come to life because I know exactly what they're all about now. I've commented on function, aesthetics, ergonomics and materials for all of them. And now if I was to give this sheet of designs to my client for the design challenge, they would have an idea of what my designs were all about and have a deeper understanding. And that's what we want you to do. Now there are hundreds more probably annotations I could pop on here. I've just done it quickly just now. But if you guys could aim for four or five annotations per sketch and try and sketch different views and little parts of your designs to explain them further. If you can do all of that, then your communication will be excellent.